My name is Campbell Graham. I play for the South Sydney Rabbitohs. Um, we're a blue collar team. Um, we're based out of Redfern in Sydney. And um, yeah, we, we got a loyal fan base and yeah. Welcome to Las Vegas. Thank you. Yeah, it's great to be here. Uh, what's what's next for you? We've, we've, we're covering media day right now, but what's after this? You got 11 days here. Are you one of the players that's staying for 11 days? I'm not here for 11 days. My schedule is a little bit shorter. Okay. I'll go back to training, but um, we today we have a big day. We're going to the UFC Apex. We're going to um, do a bit of training with Forrest Griffin, I believe. So I'm interested to see what that's like. And then tonight we're going to uh, NH NHL, so going to a nice hockey game, which I'm excited about as well. Nice. Yeah. Uh, photography, videos, are you getting behind the scenes? What are you doing for yourself, for your social media? How are you getting more of the word out there? Yeah, um, so our photographer, Chucky, he's, he's been unreal. He's, um, you know, we had, a, we had a photo shoot on the Las Vegas Strip last night and he was putting traffic cones out and blocking off cars and making sure he could get the right, right pictures for us. And um, yeah, obviously I've been sharing um, that content through the NRL Instagram and through my own Instagram. Um, yeah, it, it seems like it's being received really, really well back home. What are you doing behind the scenes, what we don't see? What does a professional athlete like yourself go through every day emotionally, mentally, physically? Yeah, uh, at the moment we have a pretty grueling uh, training regimen um, back home. We got training five days a week, Monday to Friday, and, and it's pretty intense stuff. We're, you know, we're covering, um, you know, up to six, seven, eight Ks, you know, on the field a day. And um, then we got a, a big gym session. And then, um, you know, every every couple of days we have a wrestle session as well. So um, it's very taxing on the body this time of year and I'm taxing on the mind as well. And um, it's the grueling part of being a professional athlete. And then, um, you know, once the season rolls around, then that's the exciting part. It's when you get to showcase, you know, what you've been building throughout the preseason, um, and you get to go there and obviously um, showcase your, your own skills there. When people ask, who is Campbell, what is your answer? Uh, I want to say hard worker, uh, loyal. Uh, you know, I, I base my game around that. Um, you know, I, I do base my game on putting in the work and doing the stuff that, you know, not everyone wants to do. And, um, you know, team, teams need players like that. and. You know, I'm, I'm, I want to be a player that people want to play with, so yeah. You seem to have a very much an open mind, very kind, very good-hearted. How do you put that in your everyday life for people to understand that you're here, you're accepting, you're up for great conversation and making good relationships? Does that translate through your social media? Does that translate through a lot of your interviews that people understand how deep and passionate and caring of a person and a human being you are? Yeah, I believe, um, you know, I try to sort of put out there through my social media or, um, you know, any sort of interaction that I have with a fan or um, obviously interviews with the media. Um, you know, I just try to be myself and, uh, you know, I don't, I don't believe that I'm that sort of flashy, arrogant sort of cocky guy, but, um, you know, I try to be as laid back as possible because that's how I, I am generally, you know, most of the time. So uh, when it comes time to work, I definitely work and, uh, you know, I'm passionate out there in the field, but um, you know, I try to just enjoy it and, um, yeah, do everything with a bit of a smile. So it's, yeah, it's all good. Any closing thoughts? Uh, I, I just can't wait till we come back here. Honestly, this is my first time in the States and, um, you know, to be here, uh, in Vegas, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. And I can't wait to come back with my teammates and enjoy this experience with them. So, yeah. It's going to be completely different. We're looking at March, uh, as a local here in Vegas, the weather should subside by February, April. Uh, you're going to have a different scenery. It's going to have a different vibe, different temperature. What does that mean to you? Are you going to be ready for pool? Are you going to be ready for sauna? Are you going to be ready to... Yeah, I guess I'll be doing a few um, ice bars after training, but then hopefully there's a full pool party coming around uh, that time of year. But we'll see. We'll see. About... We have to get the wind first, and then we can enjoy that with um, with the locals who have been you know, exceptional. Uh, you know, uh, It's been a big takeaway for myself coming over here is um, how friendly everyone is, you know, um, you go into an elevator and they want to have a conversation with you and it's awesome. It's really cool. And it's a little bit of a culture shock. It's not quite like that back home. So, um, yeah, just the general conversations that you have with the locals is awesome. That's, that's great. And any closing thoughts, anything you want to close out with? Uh, I just want to encourage people to come out and watch us play. Um, you know, the, it's a one-off opportunity and, uh, I really don't think you'll regret it. Um, you know, I'm, I'm very excited. Um, to see what kind of crowd we get out here. So yeah, thanks for having me. I'm, I'm appreciative of this. Um, 
you're extremely tall. I'm about five, seven and a half or so. And it, it's, you're like a big, huge giant. Yeah. It's very comforting to, to feel that if someone came over and tried to be a bit foolish, that he'll take care of business. Yeah, I'll do my best. I'll do my best. <laughs> Thank you so no much. Thank you. Thanks for your time.